hey, welcome back to the channel. And today I have brought you a great news. We have finally got the Arduino support for Raspberry Pi Pico, and it's official. So let's take a look at it. As you can see, Arduino Core Ember 2.0 has been released with the support for Raspberry Pi RP2040 board. And we can take a look at the repository by Arduino. So this is the release 2.0 by Arduino. And uh, without getting more into details, let's try to install it. And the first step includes installing Arduino. We need to have it. Most of the people might be having it. If you have, just skip to the next part of the video. I have given the timestamps below. If you haven't, download the Windows, Win 7 and newer version. Don't download the Windows app. You can either contribute or directly download it. It will take a while and after downloading, install it. Allow Windows permission. Click Agree. Keep the settings as default. No need to change anything. If you want to change the destination folder, you can do so. Alright, when it prompts you to install the device software, allow it. Now the installation is complete, it has already installed the necessary drivers. And let's close it. Once you have the Arduino IDE, open it up. Here we have it. Once opened up, go to Tools, Board. Then Boards Manager. All right. Type in your P code. You will get Arduino Embed OS RP2040 Boards. Install it. All right. Sorry for the interruption, but I need to convey this message. 97% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you like the content, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and be a part of the family and help me reach my first thousand subscribers. I would be glad if you do so. Thank you and let's get to the point where we left. Alright, we need to change some board settings before we can try out the examples. Go to tools, board, then Arduino embed OS, you will find Raspberry Pi Pico. Once you have chosen it, connect your Raspberry Pi Pico by pressing the boot select button and inserting the micro B cable. As you can see, the computer has detected the Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's go to files, examples, under basics, we'll find the Blink program. We do not need to change any built-in LED settings because as we have chosen the Raspberry Pi Pico board, it will already assign it to pin number 25, which is the built-in LED for Raspberry Pi Pico. All right, it's done uploading. As you can see, as soon as it gets uploaded, the LED starts to blink. One more important thing. Once you have pressed the boot select button and connected the Pico, you need not repeat this process for uploading the next code. The Arduino Pico support is designed in such a way it will reset the board from the core itself. So we need not to repeat the process of disconnecting and connecting again. All right, let's try some serial input output functions. As you can see, I've hit on upload. It will compile the sketch and I will not disconnect my board again. You can see the board will reset itself from the core. As you can see, we have got the prompt that it has uploaded successfully. Let me open up the serial monitor. As you can see, it's working fine.